Mike Tyson was right, and I was wrong. Um, you know, when, when I, you guys know the whole story about Shark Week, and you know, if you don't, I, I, I begged him not to do the, uh, the Roy Jones fight. You're too old. I love you. I don't want to see you take any more punishment. So I set him up on Shark Week. He got paid good money. And he's like, are you, are you fucking... So he almost flipped out the last day and was ready to kill everybody on the boat because he had to jump in with all these sharks again in the middle of Florida. And he's like, this fucking asshole says that, uh, you know, he cares about me and everything else. I've been fighting since I was 12. And he throws me in the fucking ocean with a bunch of sharks. Um, he was right about that, too. Uh, but he basically said, I told him, Mike, you're basically 60 years old. And he's like, you honestly think this fucking kid's going to do anything to me? He's not good. He's not going to fucking knock me out. He's not going to do this. And you saw him. He tripped when he was walking down the thing. He had a hard time walking up the stairs. He had a knee brace on. And Jake Paul couldn't do anything to him. He made a ton of money. And I know people are mad. You stayed home on a Saturday night. But you didn't pay for it. You know what I mean? And, you know, Mike, this is what Mike Tyson, when Mike Tyson shows up, everybody makes money. You know, Jake Paul is, fucking, you know, you, you, I don't have to tell you guys, you, you guys know, Mike Tyson is the A++++ plus 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 side of that thing. And, um, and he was right. Jake Paul couldn't do shit to him. So he was right and I was wrong. That's the other thing. I mean, all the people that are, you know, you know, there's a lot of, uh, Portnoy went out and said that it was the greatest con job of all time. And, and uh, I, I mean, if, if you didn't think that that's the way the fight, I don't know what people expected. You know, Mike's almost 60 years old. He's Mike Tyson, but he's 60 years old. And, and, and he, he knew that Jake Paul couldn't do anything to him. So it's, you, you knew what you were going to get when you saw that fight. But you can't be mad. It was fucking free. We all got Netflix anyway, right? Um, and you got to watch the girls fight. And the girls fight was good. You know, I know a lot of people were pissed, but, and it was a bit of a shit show, but, you know, what, what did you expect? Seriously, when you stayed home and you turned on Netflix that night, we were like, holy fuck, I'm about to see the greatest live sporting event of all time. No, you fucking did not. You got exactly what you thought you were going to get. I was there for the Serrano Taylor, but, you know, it was, it was, yeah. Oh, you were there and you flew back here? Oh no, to watch. Yeah, yeah. Watching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And, and that's the listen. If, if if you're a fight fan, you're right. You're right. Dana, going off that. Sorry, because yep. you just cut me off before. Um, you were obviously watching the event. What did you think of like the production and stuff for Netflix? Because I imagine as you guys go into this negotiation for the next television rights. Well, nobody does my production. I right. do. That's been my deal. And uh, but that's not the deal with almost every sport. Is maybe every sport, as far as I know. But not me. Nobody's going to control my product. I do. How is your health? You obviously had the health scare. I'm, and just stuff. Fine, brother. I'm just fine, brother. And f for Netflix, this thing was brilliant because you knew it was going to pull a massive number because of Mike Tyson, right? And to be fair to Jake, you're going to turn in, you're going to tune in to watch him get knocked out, hopefully, right? That's what everybody wants to see. And um, but they needed to do this test. They got the NFL coming at Christmas. They're just getting into live sports. They needed to do this to test it, to test something that they knew they would pull a big number on, and Mike Tyson pulls big numbers. It was hurting Mike repeatedly, and he just got to a point where he thought, you know what, I've cooked him, I've slow cooked him here, and it, it, the distance was in sight, and I think he just thought, I thought you know what, I'm going to let him see the end of this. I'm not really going to give him credit for that, because, you know, you've just beaten up a fucking 58-year-old. What am I going to do? Give you credit because you didn't do it that badly. Like, it's not really that honourable, but... I was pleased that Mike Tyson seen the fucking final bell because just for his own manly pride, you know what I mean? To just say, yeah, I fucking stayed in there with him. I didn't go down. You know, I was just like, okay, he's not really engaging back. And so it, I don't know if he's tired or whatever. And I could just tell, you know, his age was showing a little bit and I just have so much respect for him. And that like violence war thing between us, like after he slapped me, I wanted to, you know be aggressive and take him down and knock him out and all that stuff but that kind of went away as the mike tyson the weight loss wasn't about cutting weight for performance it was something a lot more sinister i fought to get back in shape for this fight i didn't want to quit this was my last shot and i wasn't going to let anything stop me
Tyson's willingness to keep fighting, despite the clear risks to his health, highlights his unyielding nature, a true testament to the fighter's mentality. But the question remained, should he have fought at all? <laughs> Many fans questioned the wisdom of Tyson stepping into the ring at 58 years old. Should he have fought given the state of his health? And was Jake Paul fully aware of what Tyson had been going through? Some argued that it was dangerous for Tyson to compete, while others believed that the fight was more of a business deal than a sporting contest. I want to know how much Mike Tyson got paid for that fight. Because he gave his legacy away for Jake Paul to make a name for himself. Jake Paul wins against another old man. The most rigged thing I've seen in a long time. Bro, Mike Tyson got paid millions of pounds just to walk in every round. Land no punches, throw no punches, nothing. Just walk around. Oh my. It wasn't fair to Tyson. He wasn't in fighting shape, he had a bad knee, and he nearly died earlier this year. How could they let him fight? Tyson's decision to fight, despite his condition, speaks to his pride. He wasn't doing it for the win, he was doing it for his legacy. Tyson's decision to go forward with the fight was one that defied conventional logic. His health was deteriorating, and many wondered if his team had failed to protect him. But Tyson never looked at it that way. He had faced countless battles before, inside and outside the ring, and this one was no different. As the rounds progressed, Tyson's age showed. His movements weren't as sharp as they once were, and his punches lacked the ferocity that had once made him the most feared fighter in the world. Jake Paul, on the other hand, was full of energy, landing punch after punch, controlling the pace of the fight. Tyson had a knee injury going into the fight, one that he downplayed in his post-fight interview. But this injury had a profound impact on his performance. Tyson's style had always relied on movement, quick pivots, and relentless pressure. Without that mobility, his offense suffered. Tarja made us feel like maybe we'll get Mike Tyson just, you know, do something against Jay Paul. But 58 is 58. The guy's almost 60 fighting a 27 year old lad literally in a ring where we all knew what was going to happen jake was going to run around give him a couple jabs and win comfortably fair play to jake some are saying he could have knocked out tyson but he took it easy just out of respect but it don't matter shouldn't have been in the ring with him in the first place then because what you're doing you're showing that you're scamming everyone mike tyson <laughs> yeah my knee was really bad it's been hurting for weeks, but I didn't want to let that stop me. I had to work with what I had. I couldn't move like I used to, but I kept coming. It was all about heart. Despite the obstacles, Tyson fought on, absorbing the hits, taking the punishment, but never giving up. His pride, his heart, his resilience were on full display. Jake Paul walked away with a win, but many fans and analysts were quick to criticize the manner in which he achieved it. Some said he didn't earn it, that it was a hollow victory against an aging and compromised legend. Jake Paul, it was an honor to step in the ring with a legend like Mike Tyson. I respect him. That was a tough fight, and I'm proud to come out on top. Jake's words seemed respectful, but for many, the victory felt tainted. Tyson was no longer the indomitable force he once was. But does that take away from Jake's achievement? Is it fair to criticize him for fighting a legend in decline? He shouldn't have fought Tyson. He knew Tyson wasn't at his best. It was an easy win for him, and he knows it. The writing was on the wall for me when I saw Mike Tyson walking towards the ring down the walkway, and it looked like his knee buckled. I was worried for him from then. But Jake Paul really didn't do anything to worry me. Like, considering this is a Jake Paul that tries to claim he will one day be world champion and that he would have beaten Mike Tyson in his prime, you are way off it, mate. You are way off it. But the majority of the time, Jake Paul's been fighting UFC fighters and YouTubers. And I think he's probably faced about three professional boxers in his whole entire career. And they are either below average or... It's Jake's choice. He fought who they put in front of him, Tyson was a legend, and Jake won. Simple as that. For many, 
Tyson's performance that night didn't diminish his legacy, it added to it. He showed the world that even when your body fails you, your spirit can carry you forward. Tyson, at 58 years old, battling a serious health crisis and an injury, proved once again that true greatness is about more than victories. It's about the heart to keep going, no matter the odds. Tyson's career was filled with highs and lows, from his meteoric rise to the top of boxing, to his battles outside the ring, Tyson has always been a fighter. A fighter not just in the ring, but in life. Mike Tyson, this is it for me. No more fights. It's time to enjoy life. Thank you for the memories. And with that, Tyson's chapter in boxing came to a close. He retired, not because he didn't have more to give, but because he had nothing left to prove. Tyson's influence in the world of boxing is undeniable. Whether you admire him or criticize him, one thing is certain, his legacy is secure. The fight with Jake Paul wasn't about winning or losing. It was about proving that the heart of a champion never fades. Tyson's decision to retire leaves us with a sense of finality, but also a sense of relief. A man who fought for so long now has the chance to focus on his health and his life outside of the ring. Mike Tyson got in there and he looked every day at 58 years old. He looked like an old man that couldn't do anything. What happened to the Mike Tyson that was throwing all the punches on the pads and the, on the body bag and the bag work that he was doing and the clips on the build up? Like, you just feel like he couldn't get anything going. Did he, did he hold back himself? Did Mike Tyson not really try? Did he get in there? and follow a script, well don't, don't actually hit Jake Paul on the chin with a big shot because you might just knock him out and ruin the whole fucking script and ruin the whole Jake Paul story, the big Mike Tyson, it's time to live. I've done enough, now I'm just grateful for everything that's come my way. Tyson may have stepped away from the ring, but his influence will remain forever. Whether it's through his podcast, his mentorship, or his business ventures, Tyson's legacy will continue to shape the world of boxing and beyond. Final montage of Tyson's career highlights, walking away from the ring, smiling and surrounded by his family. The journey may have ended in the ring, but Mike Tyson's story is far from over. The legend continues, and his impact will be felt for generations to come. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Mike Tyson's final fight and the aftermath, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Stay tuned for the latest updates on Tyson's life beyond boxing and his ongoing journey as a legend in his own right.